Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome back to Forest River. We're going to kick off harvesting our last field of oats here. And uh, we're going to jump right on into it here. Get everything fired up, and off we go. Once again, I forgot to fast forward us to later, a little later in the day. So we'll go ahead and let uh, the time go just a little bit here. There we are. I did already uh, get our auger tractor fired up as well. So that is over, ready, and waiting. So we're going to go ahead and do a couple of headland passes on this end here right away. Uh, tomorrow we will be working on some bailing. Um, I did have a little chat with uh, our one neighbor again about uh, our old grain truck that he was using. And I think we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna let him buy it. Uh, wasn't really sure what it was worth, so I told him, shoot me a number. Um, and he offered 20000 So, um, I think that we're going to take it. And we're just going to go ahead and sell it to him. Uh, and, I mean, we could really use that money right now. Um for sure so like I said we are we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we are gonna sell it um, I think we can get by without it for the time being so we're just gonna rock with it for now and uh, I mean we can always pick us up another one down the road uh, if we find that necessary but I think for now the two wagons and truck will uh, we can make it work so we are gonna run that way um, cause mainly because we do need the money uh, we really do. Between loan payments and operating costs and property taxes, with every month that goes by, it's it's a struggle. Um, it really is. There's a lot going into it right now, so anything that we can try and make back we we're we're just gonna have to try and do it um, and just make with it the best that we can um, and I forgot our time once again but that's all right we'll just go into August 2nd Another day isn't going to hurt us. Um, let's take a look here. If we wanted to, we could put canola in. 
um, as a fall planted crop. <clears throat> Let's take a look here at kind of pricing of it. Oops, uh, canola. It's up there at 44. So it definitely could be a possibility. Um, but we have a little bit of time to worry about that yet. At the very least, we'd have a um, set crop. It would already be in the field, and we wouldn't have to worry about uh, anything in that aspect come spring of whether or not we can fully afford it. But, uh, yeah, I will talk to the neighbor again here later on today and see kind of what we can work out for uh, a deal on that truck. Um, I think I think we will take his 20000 offer and uh, kind of run with that. Um, I think that'll kind of be beneficial to us at this point in time. I mean, we don't necessarily need the truck. Um, in all reality, we could sell both trucks and just run with wagons for now uh, if we wanted to. I don't think that we're going to go jump in the gun and sell them both yet. I think we will wait. Um... But it's a thought that's there. But uh, I'm kind of leaning towards just keeping that other truck uh, for now. Because especially when uh, the time comes for us to sell the grain, I think we're going to want that truck. So... We are uh, just going to stick with it for now. And uh, just sell the one. Um, I think another thing that we are also going to look into... So, we got that chisel plow and the cultivator uh, as kind of a package deal with the... Um, with some of the other equipment, but we really don't need them. We don't have a use for them. Um, I mean, we really don't need to do any heavy tillage. Um, I mean, we could do tillage on corn stalks to make things easier for next year. Uh, so if anything, we could keep the cultivator, but... Our planter and our drill both are no-till. So, in all reality, we could sell off both of those as well if we got in a pinch. Um, so that's something to think about as well. We'll see, though. We'll see if it comes down to it. And we'll see what we can get out of them. I think we can get a decent amount of money. Um, so, I might see uh, whenever I talk with the neighbor here later on today about the truck. See if he or anyone else, um, or if he knows of anyone else that would have any interest in it um, just to kind of get the word out and see if we can sell it um, kind of as a once again package deal all 
All right, and since we're right here, we're just gonna unload. We're pretty much full anyways, so let's pick up this little snippet here that uh, I missed. And uh, we'll get this truck filled up. Oops, too far. This field definitely seems to be yielding a little better. It is also a bit bigger than uh, our last field was, so that could have a part in it. All right, so the truck is full. We'll dump the rest out into the wagon here. Perfect. Some thick oats right here, that's for sure. Definitely, uh, bogs us down a bit. I do think that well, it's not really quite a bottom, so it could just be a uh, little bit better of a soil right here that uh, we're just getting that much of a better yield in this area. I did talk to... Um, our next door neighbor here, uh, he said that whenever we're done combining, uh, his baler and tractor are sitting inside the shed at uh, his brother's house, which is right next to us. Um, just a house away, pretty much. So, he said the uh, tractor and baler are sitting inside and his uh, loading trailer is beside the building. And that uh, whenever we're done, we can just go over and grab them. And uh, he said we can work out the other details later on. So, that is a uh, big help. He did say it was uh, fully filled with twine and everything. So, but uh, he said there is a pallet sitting there uh, if we end up running out or anything like that. So, that's definitely good to know that he's got us uh, covered. I think this is the first time I've ever really uh, messed with this New Holland Combine. And I do gotta say, it, I'm kind of enjoying it. It's not a bad uh, combine whatsoever, so. Well, 
All right, let's uh, go dump again. I'm pretty sure this is going to fill this wagon, and then we'll uh, be starting on our third one, or our other wagon, I guess, and uh, we'll have to probably have to go dump before we get done with this field, which is perfectly fine by me. I, uh, I'm kind of liking the way that this yield is shaping out. to the other wagon here. Go get her filled back up. Ooh. A little squirrely there. Holy smokes. 300% engine power. All right. She's definitely uh, chewing pretty good at this. So I don't think that we're going to get this field finished today. Um, so we'll get every off camera. I'll uh, finish combining. And then uh, when we come back in tomorrow's video, we'll... Uh, get everything unloaded and uh, moved out of the way and then we'll go pick up that baler and uh, start baling the straw up. at half full. Goodness. Pretty much filling up in uh, one pass, more or less. So definitely high yielding, that is for sure. Which is... Uh, great for us. And it's really not a very large field either, so it's definitely nice to uh, get a fair amount off of it. Oh, we're not going to make it to the end, are we? I have a sneaking suspicion that that's not... 
not going to be the case. Nope. We're going to be right there. Right at the end. Yep. That's what I figured was going to happen. Okay, well, let's go get unloaded. We should be able to fit this whole uh, hopper in there, but I'm not for sure. Maybe not. fit. Perfect. And then we can go fill it up one more time. And then uh, since we're on this end, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to cut our way up and then uh, when we get up to the end, we'll just clean up that little bit that's there. Oh, selected on the wrong thing here. There we go. So we'll do a little uh, in or er, little third person combine in here. Kind of try and do a mix of the two. You know, some people prefer first person, some people don't like it. Some people like both. I like doing both when I can. Combining is one that's definitely a lot easier, especially with a header this small. So I'd say we're about half done with this field, and uh, we've already filled all three, pretty much. I mean, we'll have all three full here in just a little bit, so. I uh, definitely can't complain if we can fill all three again or close to it. That'd be a win in my book. Yeah, over half full in one pass. That's insane. Already at sixty two percent. So we'll definitely be able to uh, get this filled up. Got to get as much of the bin full as we can, pretty much. Oh, 
already put an hour on this combine. That's crazy. Or 10 hours, I should say. Doesn't seem uh, like we've been combining for that long yet. Okay, let's go get this dumped. And then uh, we can start running stuff back to the yard. Hopefully we'll be able to make a uh, good few bales off of this field as well. Be able to make a decent chunk of money. Alright. Well, that wagon is full as well now. So let's see if we can... Uh, let's go ahead and finish out this pass. And then we'll shut the combine down. And... Uh, Go get stuff unloaded. bit of a skip right in here. That's alright. It happens. Okay. Um, actually, let's just Pull this up right like so. Set that down. And uh, we'll swing out this auger. Alright. Let's uh, get some stuff emptied here. This tractor does surprisingly well on fuel. It's got an hour and a half on it, and it's maybe used a quarter of a tank. And so, can't go wrong there. It did have some pretty easy work, though. I just pulled that roller, so that was a uh, walk in the park for this thing. All right, well, let's... Uh, get this put into the bin. Alright, what do we got going on now? Let's make sure, okay, paper's out. Why are you not wanting to, oh, let's not hit the auger here. going on here. Why do you not want to unload? There we go. Perfect. So let's just take a peek here. Ooh, our bin is almost half full already. So we're going to come back here and we're going to kick the fan on. So we got enough grain in there now to uh, 
kick that on. So not bad, put 47,000 liters in it already. Uh, once, uh, once the bin is full, the bin is full. And uh, that's going to be it for storage um, for the time being. So after that, uh, we'll have to haul in anything that's left. So hopefully we can kind of hold on to a decent amount. I don't really want to sell us a whole lot of it, but anything that we have to sell, we have to sell. It'll just be what it'll be. Kinda got some uh, cloud cover rolling in too, which is, uh, hopefully we're not gonna get any rain. As of right now, we're not. Hopefully it's just cloudy. But at least on the bright side, we are just about done, so. Okay, we're gonna pull this guy up right over here. We can just uh, back up with the combine and dump into it. And then uh, we're gonna try and space these guys out a little bit kind of make it a little easier on ourselves so we aren't um, we aren't having to travel so much around with the combine to unload so we'll get these three dumped in and uh, that'll be it for today. In fact, I think we might actually call it after this one here, so. Let's see if we can manage to do this in cab here. Without wrecking anything. Perfect. Well, it kind of cuts through the uh, popper of it there, but that's all right. We got it jackknifed as can be. So yeah, uh, we will see about selling uh, both of these here. If we don't really need them, then there's not really a point of uh, keeping them around. Let's see how we're doing on room here. Well, we're getting up there. I think our truck will fit yet. And then, uh, we'll have to see from there. We'll have to see next year about, uh, maybe adding in a couple of bins. to see though. So this one we're going to put about halfway down the field. Alright, 
Well, folks, I'm going to call it a day here. Um, and like I said before, I will finish combining this field and uh, get everything moved home. And then uh, when we come back in tomorrow's video, we will get everything unloaded, uh, whether it be in the bin or at the elevator. And, uh, and then we'll get started on some bailing. So thanks for tuning in today, folks. And as always, we'll catch y'all later.